Hey, YouTube Baird in here. Figured I'd uh, throw my two cents down about the uh, Stanley Cup Finals and the ensuing, uh, for lack of a better term, idiocy that uh, so followed shortly thereafter. Now, um, I guess first it should be stated that uh, I'm born and raised Calgary. Uh, Calgary fans, vociferously so. Uh, we're, we're, we're fairly insane about our flames here. Uh, we've got, of course, flames paraphernalia all over the house. We've got a flame shrine. Uh, I have a flames tattoo. So uh, that being said, uh, it's hard for me to ever cheer Vancouver. And I won't. I was cheering for Boston. Uh, and and, and uh, a lot of people gave me a hard time saying, well, but dude, come on, cheer for the Canadian team. And my reply was, I cheer for the team with the most Canadians. Uh, so Boston, woo! Plus, how can you not like Tim Thomas? Seriously. All right, so that aside, I was incredibly impressed, and it changed my opinion of a great many Vancouver fans on uh, their booing of Batman, which is always a beautiful thing to see. Oh, I hate Batman. And uh, their cheering of Tim Thomas, Zidane Ochara, and uh, uh, Milan Lucic. So the Milan Lucic thing, I mean, born and raised in Vancouver, you almost have to expect that he's going to get cheered for. Um, that shows real class. And Vancouver fans who were in the stadium, thumbs high. Thumbs very high because that was impressive. Uh, you don't see uh, sportsmanship like that nowadays too often. So uh, to see that made me it, it, warmness, warmness inside. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, for all the people that were outside, uh, <laughs> the words I want to use are not appropriate for family viewing. So I won't use them. Uh, that That's just, it was disgusting. It was a display of... Wow, I don't even have the words. And I'm a fairly verbose fellow. Um, you know, and, and I'd like to state for the record that I know a great many Vancouver fans. Uh, we have little verbal battles fairly regularly. And, uh, you know, they would never, ever think of perpetrating acts like this. Uh, heck, we've gone to games together uh, here in Calgary. Uh, one of, one, somebody I work with and I'm good friends with, uh, he's a Vancouver fan. You know, we all got our little issues. You know, that's his. Uh, <laughs> um, and we went and enjoyed a great game and uh, beaked at each other, beaked at various fans around us, and they beaked back at us. And it was a good time. It was a really good time. No need for violence. No need for uh, anything other than drinking some beers and, and screaming and yelling at the officials because who doesn't love yelling at Stephen Walkham? Seriously. Um so, yeah, uh, and then, you know, the Flames lost, and I didn't feel the need to riot. Heck, I didn't riot in 04 either. I certainly saw quite a few breasts. Thumbs high on that one. But uh, I didn't, there was, uh, I think, if I remember correctly, and, and I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if I remember correctly, uh, there was one injury, and I believe it was to an officer who got stumbled into by a fellow who uh, was trying to dodge uh, a police officer or something, and he stumbled into another police officer. And uh, she fell down and bumped her head on a, uh, a cement barrier. Uh, I think there were three charges laid the entire playoff run. Uh, so I'm not trying to say that Calgary is any better than Vancouver. I'm just saying I don't understand the need, especially when we're talking uh, just a sporting event. I don't understand the need for violence and anger and, and uh, uh, destruction. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's antithetical to my nature. So, um, Vancouver, here's what I got to say to you. Thumbs high for showing great class and uh, decency during the game and immediately after. Those, now, I'm saying this to the fans of, Van, uh, of the Vancouver Canucks, the true hockey fans. Uh, to the people outside, I hope every single last one of you gets caught gets busted, and spends time in jail where some big fellow uh, does horribly nasty things to your anus because you deserve it. That's right. Um, it, and, and now I am going to say one sort of word, and I'm going to quote Jim Carrey. Uh, you don't want to end up in jail? Stop breaking the law, asshole!